family. A drunkard can only destroy a family. He can only destroy his wife and destroy his children. Oh, you drunkards are in big, big trouble with God. God is coming to judge your drunkenness. You make your drunkenness more important than God. You've got these wicked spirits. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. You need to be born again from above. You need to be born again of God. God commands you to repent. God commands you to submit. We're here to warn you to tell you that God's judgment is coming. God is coming to judge the world in righteousness, each of you. Every person will be judged by a holy and righteous God. And we preach Christ and Him crucified. Christ on the cross, the blood shed that you can be set free. Jesus came to set the captives free from their sin. Jesus did not come and shed His blood, die that horrible way on the cross, so you could keep sinning and trampling the blood of the Almighty God of the Bible underneath your feet. Jesus did not come so you could sin. Jesus came to set you free. Free from your sin, sinner. You need to become a saint of God. You need to become a holy one. You need to become set apart from this world. You need to love Jesus Christ. Yes, Malker, you need to love Jesus. Malkers go to hell, don't you know that, Malkers? Malkers will not, uh, God, God will not be mocked by mockers. Mock it up. You're storing up for yourself wrath and indignation from a holy and righteous God. God is not coming to play games with you sinners. You need to deal with Him. You need to deal with that sacrifice He made for you at the cross. Smirk it up, old man, you know what? On Judgment Day, you'll give an account for what you just heard. Oh yes, the cross of Jesus Christ forces you to choose. Reject or submit. Reject or submit. And if you reject again, if you harden your heart against God again, if you embitter your heart towards a holy and loving God again, God will reject you. If you die in your sin, God will reject you. If you die in your filthiness, God will cast you down. You need to be cleansed by the Lamb of God. You need to be cleaned by the blood of Jesus Christ. Something funny, young man? You think something's funny? I'm talking about your soul. I'm talking about everlasting something, everlasting judgment, or everlasting mercy. I don't deserve the mercy of God. None of us do. We all deserve the justice of God. The justice of God. That's what we all deserve. When you start agreeing with God, then God will start agreeing with you. Oh yeah, but right now you're forward towards God. You have a proud look towards God that God hates. God hates a proud look. And most of you walk by. Well, look, there's a proud look right there. Ah, ah, proud look. You see that proud look? You get that on the camera? You, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, proud look towards God, but you have. You hate the truth of Jesus preached. You don't like it. Because the devils that are influencing you, the devils that are in possession of you, they hate it. Yes, you're children of the devil. You're children of the devil. Look at you. You love and glorify fire. But you know what? God, our God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Our God is coming to judge with fire. God, Jesus Christ is coming in flaming fire to judge you sinners. To judge you. He's coming to judge you. Yes, Christ is coming in flaming fire to judge you sinners. Repent. I beg you, I plead with you. I, will, I beg you to repent, to be reconciled to Christ. No, I'm not going to shut up, sinner. I'm going to stand up and speak up. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to shove it down your throat because I want you to be saved. I don't want you to go to hell. I'm going to push you into the kingdom if it were possible. If it were possible, I'm going to compel you to come in. Make your choice today. Turn from your sins. Turn from your wickedness. Turn from your drunkenness. Turn from your filthy adulteries. Adulterers and adulteresses. Adulterers 
and adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship in the world makes you an enemy of God? Don't you know that? Do friends of the world what you love, these things take you an enemy of the holy God of the Bible. Get your Bible and read your Bible. People like you want me to worship the devil. Oh no, oh no, I can't make you worship the devil. You're already a child of the devil. By your sins. I agree with you. You're right. You're spiritually assessing yourself correctly according to the Bible. He who sins is of the devil. That's what the Bible says. Jesus said, choose this day whom you'll serve. Choose this day whom you'll serve. You're going in there to serve your titan, to serve your glory, the glory of this city that you think is so important. What nonsense is this? What filthy nonsense is your titan football? Ah, God hates it. God doesn't approve of this glory. This is vain glory. This is earthly glory. This is carnal. And God hates your wicked idol worship. Repent. Yes, see, there's another one. There's another football idolater, idol worshiper. There's one that tells him, be quiet. Be quiet, man. Don't stir him up. He's already an idol worshiper in his heart like the rest of you. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom. Revelers, partiers will not go to the kingdom. Oh, you will not go. But Jesus died. God is being patient with you right now, friend. God does not desire the destruction of the wicked, but that they turn and live. Did you hear that last part, sinner? You must turn to have life in Christ. You must turn from your sin, sinner. You must love Jesus with all of your heart, mind, strength, and soul. Yes, sinner. Yes, you must turn. This is a requirement. I don't care what your mommy and daddy taught you. I'm telling you what the Bible says. The Bible says if you don't repent, you'll turn. What's that? What's that mean? I'm not throwing stones, sinner. I'm throwing words. And Jesus said right after that, the woman who condemns you, neither do I condemn you. Now go and sin no more. Did you hear that, Mr. Smoker? Did you hear that, Mr. Smoker? Stop your sin. Go and sin no more. That's you. That's the rock thrower. Why'd you bring me a rock? I don't have any rock. I'm not throwing rocks. No, mockers will not. Will not enter the kingdom. You'll be mocked by God in derision. Stop ruining the ones God gave you. Stop smoking and stop sinning. Confess your sin and believe and trust in Jesus Christ. God is coming to judge you sinners. God is coming to judge. Did you hear that? I didn't say I'm judging you. I said God is. I'm warning you. God is coming to judge you drunkards. All you porn freaks. Yes, you're going to be judged. It's not funny. Judge the day you won't be laughing. You'll be naked to shame. You'll be naked to shame. You'll be naked and ashamed. Oh, I have white robes. Hallelujah. All the saints of God will be clothed with white robes. But you sinners will be naked, bowed down, ashamed, and then God will judge you. And then God will individually have his angels cast you into the fire. The fire that's never put out. God blessing America? God blessing America? While America kills its children? You're kidding me, right? 15 million abortions in America, and you want God's blessing? No! No, America! You don't have God's blessing, you have God's cursing! God's judgment's coming for you! Yes! If you think that's impressive, wait till you meet Jesus. Wait till you meet Jesus Christ. When His lightning is to us, when Christ shows up, you won't be able to say, God bless America then! You won't be able to say it then! When the blood of the innocent upon your hands, the blood of every aborted baby in this country is on our hands! Repent, America! Yes, you want God to bless you, church? Then humble yourself!
yourselves and pray and turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your sinners. Yes. Oh yeah, God's going to thunder from on high. God's going to thunder from on high. God is going to thunder from on high. You proclaimed, you sang to me, God bless America, but you would not listen to me. You would not obey my command. You killed your children in your mother's wombs. You did that daily, 3,000 innocent babies every day, and you said, God bless me. Oh no, oh no, God's judging you. God's judging your drunkenness. What's that? Of course I'm judging. Are you judging me, hypocrite? No, wait a minute, hypocrite. Hang on, hypocrite. Are you judging me? Yes. I'm judging for the Bible. To warn you about God's judgment. Yes, I am. To warn you about God's judgment. God's everlasting judgment. God's not playing around. God's commanding you to repent. God is commanding you to turn from your evil ways. God hates this. God hates a lying heart. God hates lying lips and hands that shed innocent blood. Oh, that's America. And loudmouth women are not godly. Loudmouth women, non-submissive women, immodest women are ungodly. You women need to be quiet. That's what you need to do. The Bible. Leave me alone. You're so tough, but you won't be a tough in front of God. You won't be so tough in front of God. God bless you. Yeah, you won't be able to say that on Judgment Day. You won't be able to say that on Judgment Day. You'll be bowed down, crying like a baby. Oh yeah, tough guy. You won't be so tough on Judgment Day. There he is, right there, sir. That man right there. You see him? Well, I don't know. Where'd he go? He went that way. Bald He's a bald guy. Bald head with black jacket. Bald guy with a black jacket right down there. See him right down there? He's still there. Yes, I didn't come out here to song you. I came out here to tell you the truth. Jesus Christ is coming to judge the world in righteousness. You're going to attack me on your right. But God, God's going to judge you. God's going to judge what you've done, so confess it today, friends. Yeah, you're a child of the devil. I knew it. You're a child of the devil. Repent, man. Stop it. Stop following the devil who hates you. He wants your destruction. And start following Christ, who's the bread of life. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. You won't be laughing on Judgment Day. You won't be telling Jesus to shh. No, so you won't be doing that. Repent and believe. Confess and obey. Jesus Christ is coming to judge the world in righteousness, man. He don't want you to be judged. He wants you to have mercy. That's why he came to tell you about his judgment. So you don't have to be judged. So you could receive his mercy. But God's mercy is conditioned on your proper response. Oh, everybody knows that God loves them. Everybody knows it. But do you love God? And how do you know you love God? How do you know you love God? Here's how the Bible says. The Bible says you can know you love Jesus if you obey Him. Are you a son of obedience or a son of disobedience? Are you doing things for darkness that your mother and father be ashamed of? That God is ashamed that you're doing? The Bible says God made you upright. The Bible says God made you in His image. And you tarred and marred His image with your sin. With your sin. And God now commands all men everywhere to repent and believe. Repent for it. Come on, you know, friend. We don't want you to be condemned. 
There's a man who saw up there with me earlier. He came over. Wanted to grab my mic and take my mic from me. Tell me to shut up. Threaten me. I forgive him. I forgive him in Jesus' name. If he doesn't repent, just like your hard heart, sir. Just like your hard, stiff heart. Stiff neck and hard heart. I forgive you in Jesus' name. But God! God's not going to forgive you unless you repent. God's not going to forgive you unless you repent, sir. Turn from your wicked ways and trust Jesus. Your house? Well, everything is the Lord. Yeah. Oh, thousands of cattle on the hills are the Lord. You're, you belong to the Lord, but you're not under His authority. He created you. He has authority to, to build you and tear you down. And God, if you allow to repent, God's going to tear you down. He's going to throw you down into the everlasting fire that never can be put out, friend. You know, if this place is on fire and I didn't warn you, boy, I, I wouldn't love you at all. But if you're not in Christ right now and you die in your sin, you're going to hell for your sin. Simple. what God has said. That's what God has said. We plead with you. We beg you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled, to get right. We don't want you to go to hell. We want you to come to the kingdom. But God has his conditions. God has his conditions.